Hi, Steven here from Finish That Space. Today we're going to install a pressure treated deck, 21 feet by 14 feet. Let's go take a look, we'll show you the first step here. We've got our footings put in right now, Sono tubes. Gone down four feet below frost level so that they don't heave. You can see along the front here we've got three for the front of the deck. It's going to carry a main beam. And there's two in the middle here. It's going to be a beam underneath to help stop any bounce in the deck. This portion of the deck here is going to be attached to these six by six posts, lag bolted right into the post. These posts are already set in concrete, so it has a good foundation. You can see here there's a storm drain here. We're going to build an access inside the deck, a door at the top of the deck. This can be taken out. That can't be covered up. Well, that's it for the first stage. We'll come back and let you know as we start the framing layout. Thanks. Okay, let's go through our fastening schedule. What we've got here is these galvanized joist hangers. That's for the beam and the doublers. We're going to be using 2 by 8 uh, joists, so the 2 by 8 galvanized joist hangers, which will be fastened with the Simpson Strong Tie nails. These are rated number 10, written on there for strength. We're going to be doing some gun nailing, so some of the gun nailing will be a stick nailer. We've got 3 and a quarter inch galvanized stick nails. And you can see here, uh, very important to have on the yellow yellow sticker on there. These are rated for pressure treated wood exterior. We're also going to be using two and three eighths stick nails. Then we have the common galvanized spiral framing nails. I have those strong for the posts and some of the fastening, some of the joists to the six by six posts we talked about. I'm going to be using three eighths by four lag bolts with washers. Nice and strong. I have over here. And for decking, open that up. These are quick drive nail uh, screws for the decking. Exterior rated, two and a half inch. That's for the quick drive. Makes it a little bit faster when we're installing. Okay, that should be it for that portion. Okay, see our material here. It was boomed in by a big boom truck. He came in. We're about 150 feet off the street, so it would have been a lot of, a lot of work to uh, manpower and labor to bring that in here. So we got the machine to do some of the work for us. So it's close to where we're going to be working here. Uh, the straps haven't been cut yet. Let's get those cut open and let's get to work. Okay, so we've got our outer box on now. We've got this first beam on the front built. We used 2 by 10 stock on the front. It's been nailed every 16 inches along the, along the beam for strength. You can see that the landscape cloth is in place underneath. That will stop any growth of vegetation underneath. In the corner here you can see this is a 2 by 10 galvanized joist hangers it's bolted into the 6x6 and it's glued right here so it's very strong very strong fastened and bolt bolted along the uh, the back side of the box here and into the 6x6 with some those carriage bolts we had talked about in the fasteners there's going to be a doublers going across here all the way across we're going, to, we're going to frame in an opening right here for this storm drain that's underneath this this landscape cloth. We're going to be cutting this cutting this open here so you can have access to that and see that. <laughs> the purpose of this here is temporarily to hold the joists in place as I lay them down and nail the other side. It's just like a little helper. We'll remove it after. It's just a temporary in the center here there's another beam that will be constructed out of 2 by 10 stock and will sit on these sauna tubes that are underneath right there these concrete footings right here okay we're back for the next phase of this treated deck 
and uh, we've got the framing pretty much all done <laughs> just take a quick look at that we've got a couple of the posts up these are this this is only going to have one rail along one side over there so those are the only posts that are going in just to give you a quick construction detail you see how that's framed in with lag bolts in the front that makes it very strong very sturdy so it doesn't wobble it doesn't move at all both are done like that this kind of style of framing here locks it right in nice and just the purpose of this extra one in here this joist here is we're going to put a piece of the decking here like a picture frame around the edge of the deck so you don't see the butt ends of the decking so we put this one in here it'll catch all the, the deck boards running this way and then there'll be a nailing here for the one piece of trim decking that's going to go around the edge today we're going to be using this saw here for the decking to make our miters nice and clean and perfect we we'll fastening the deck with <coughs> with these uh, coated strip nails using the quick drive and we're going to be putting skirt board around the bottom this whole edge here in the front is going to have these boards here they're going to be cut to length on the vertical with some trim detail all right Stephen back here so we've wrapped it up We've got all the decking on, we've got the rails on, the steps finished, <clears throat> wraps around, that's nice, nice big 14 inch step for people with big feet, nobody slips off a short step, the access panel is in there, skirting is all done all the way around, looks nice and closed in, nice aluminum balusters for the railing. It's a nice touch. Well, thanks for watching us. Finish that space. You can visit us at www.finishthatspace.com. Okay, Stephen, here, let's take a look. Okay. Oh. Very nice. They got it set up.